Hi everyone. Today we are going to start chapter 2 the musical mind text 3 the classical advantage. Objectives by the end of the chapter 2 text 3 you will be able to identify the main ideas in the reading text 3 the classical advantage. Use reading strategy scanning a bar graph. Find out the specific information in a bar graph. Here is your bar graph. Read the title. Listening to classical music affects two students' academic performance. Now read the information given here. Two students practice their math, writing and reading skills. Student A listened to classical music during the practice activities. Student B did not listen to music. The bar graph below compares the student's academic performance. This white color represents student's A music. This black color represents student B no music. Here is the percentage. Here are the subjects math, writing subject and reading. Now scan the bar graph and answer the following questions. Question A. Which student listened to music while studying student A or student B? Question 2. What kind of music did this student A listen to? Question 3. Which student got a higher percentage in math? Question 4. In which subject did student A get about 72%? Question 5. In which subject did student B score higher than student A? We will begin from question number 1. Question 1 is, which student listened to music while studying student A or student B? To answer this question, read the information given in the bar graph. Here is the bar graph. Now read. Two students practice their math, writing and reading skills. Student A listened to classical music. So what is the answer of this question? Answer is student A. Now question 2. What kind of music did this student A listen to? Now find out the answer of this question in the bar graph. Here is the information given. Student A listened to classical music. So what is the answer? Classical music. So student A listened to classical music. Question 3. Which student got a higher percentage in math? To answer this question, look at the graph. First look at the subject math. So which student got higher percentage in math? This white color represents student A. This black color represents student B. So student A got higher percentage in math. So what is the answer? Student A. Now question 4. In which subject did student A get about 72%? To answer this question, look at the graph. Here is 70. So now see here this student has above 70, around 72. So this white color means student A got about 72% in which subject? Writing subject. So what is the answer? Answer is writing. Now question number 5. In which subject did student B score higher than student A? To answer this question, look at the graph. Here is the graph. So this black color represents student B. This student B got higher percentage than student A in writing subject. So what is the answer? Writing. Here are all your answers. This is the end of text 3. Thank you.